Now this is quite a monumental discovery. Fragments of a biblical scroll, along with other relics, have been unearthed in desert caves, offering a fascinating glimpse into ancient history. A dedicated team of researchers, through tireless efforts, stunned the world with their remarkable findings in Egypt. Their claim of uncovering a millennial book related to a prominent biblical character has sparked widespread interest and intrigue among scholars and the general public alike. Additionally, some religious texts discovered alongside these ancient artifacts are believed to date back to the apocalyptic period, adding another layer of significance to this profound discovery. What makes this revelation even more captivating is the purportedly chilling message conveyed by these ancient texts and the profound implications they hold for contemporary society. As we ponder the implications of these ancient writings, it becomes evident that they offer valuable insights into our present existence and perhaps even shed light on the future. Join us as we embark on a journey through time, delving deeper into the enigmatic figure of Enoch and the profound mysteries surrounding him. Enoch remains one of the most revered yet enigmatic figures in religious lore, and the discovery of these ancient manuscripts only serves to deepen the intrigue surrounding his legacy. Within the scriptures, Enoch was recognized for triumphing over what numerous individuals, barring a pair, were incapable of achieving, overcoming demise. There has been extensive conjecture regarding the occurrences surrounding him for an extended duration since there exists no documentation of the miraculous incident. His narrative was among the briefest, yet peculiar. It essentially comprises the notion that he faithfully served the divine without anticipating recompense, and on a singular occasion, the divine chose to remove him, rather than permitting him to succumb to mortality organically. As of now, it appears there was solely the aspect of Enoch being a duly honored devout servant of God. Within the scriptures, Enoch is situated within the Old Testament, within the initial tome, Genesis. In spite of there being an excess of four figures with appellations that translate to Enoch, such as Hanuk, Henuk, and Hanno, solely he was bestowed with an indication of his lineage. He was the great-great-great-grandson of Adam, born to his progenitor Jared. Upon reaching the age of 65, Enoch begot Methuselah, who is renowned as the lengthiest living individual in the scriptures. Following this, he fathered numerous additional offspring. Subsequently, it was recounted that God had removed him. The enigma enveloping Enoch's destiny heightens the allure of his narrative, urging us to contemplate the enigmatic facets of his exceptional existence. Analogous to all biblical personas whose appellations embody their mission and destiny, Enoch's name similarly encapsulates his essence, ancestry, and deeds during his earthly tenure. Stemming from his name and ancestral line, he can be delineated to Hebrew descent. Despite being allocated merely three verses, he occupies an equivalent echelon to other renowned Old Testament seers, including Noah, Abraham, and Moses. Analogous to his endeavors with the divine, his appellation is construed to signify devoted or to educate. Diverging from his prophetic equivalents, Enoch's designation transcends mere designation. It alludes to a deliberate odyssey in the scriptural narrative. He didn't merely fulfill his duty to the divine. He journeyed alongside him, a unique companionship that sets him apart. These concise verses provide insight into Enoch's dedicated trajectory, encouraging investigation into the profound significance of his communion with the divine. The saga of Enoch has sparked contention among numerous scholars and spiritual guides. Though he emerged into an era of degradation, animosity, and malevolence, numerous assert that the divine seized him owing to his steadfast allegiance. Nevertheless, diverging viewpoints emerge regarding the duration of his existence. Enoch's lifespan shrouded in mystery, acknowledged as extraordinary, yet scant details divulged concerning his endeavors. Solely his offspring acknowledged, amid other progeny, rendering him both recognizable and enigmatic. No elucidation provided regarding his conduct beyond his resolute devotion to the divine, unrecorded deeds veiled. As per scriptural accounts, Enoch's terrestrial tenure condensed to years, despite evading mortality, his mode of departure undisclosed. Some posit Enoch transcended Earth to the celestial realm whilst alive, implying a transcendent experience. The Tome of Enoch categorizes into five sections, the Tome of Watchers, 
the Tome of Parables of Enoch, the Tome of Luminaries, the Tome of Dreams, and the Epistles of Enoch. Translated and interpreted by numerous writers and purported church fathers, the principal contention revolves around whether the Tome of Enoch merits inclusion within the Bible and scrutiny by adherents of Christianity and other faiths. Often during interpretation, it surfaced that the manuscripts deviated from conventional orthodox teachings and doctrines. Despite purporting its inspiration from the Holy Spirit, this work is disregarded as lacking merit for further examination by certain factions. Another contention posited that the tome potentially confuses faith and adherence to biblical precepts owing to its vivid utilization of allegory and symbolism, thereby posing a risk of misinterpretation. Notwithstanding these concerns, Ethiopia has extensively endeavored to conserve its sacred relic, with specific focus on the revelations from the manuscript. The Ethiopian Orthodox Teho Church stands upon one of myriad peaks in the nation and is crafted from naturally hewn stones fashioned into a structure complete with entrances, apertures, staircases, and partitions adorned with noteworthy engravings from the manuscripts. Boasting a membership exceeding a million, it ranks among the largest globally. Additionally, edifices have been erected to complement numerous items classified as cultural treasures, many of which are accessible to tourists. Renowned for housing numerous ancient spiritual manuscripts and texts inaccessible elsewhere, the Ethiopian Orthodox Tayaho Church seeks to provide English translations for several volumes, aiming to compile a comprehensive Ethiopian Orthodox Bible. Up until the present time, the most prevalent is the Tome of Enoch and the Jubilees, which surfaced among the Dead Sea Scrolls. The Tomes of Enoch had long vanished subsequent to being prescribed in the era by ecclesiastical figures. It wasn't until James Bruce stumbled upon the manuscripts of one Enoch and unveiled the impact of the Second Temple of Judaism on the genesis of Christianity and its metamorphosis during the medieval period. According to Richard Lawrence's conception, given its confirmed origin during the construction of the Second Temple, those possessing extensive knowledge of Judaism might discern its origins. In addition to the discovery of one Enoch in Egypt, segments of Greek translations emerged in Qumran Cave. These manuscripts were composed in the ancient original Aramaic, revered by some as sacred and emblematic. However, it's imperative to recall that until the original manuscripts were unearthed at the Dead Sea, these fragments held scant significance and lacked detailed information. These parchments are also referred to as Azis and encompass the historical, religious, and cultural milieu, elucidating the evolution of Christianity and ancient Judaism. Upon their discovery, the world was persuaded that no benefit could be gleaned from the monarch's neglected manuscript, and the millennial-old manuscript discovered in Egypt would intimate a chilling disclosure regarding human existence. Deciphering age-old wisdom, R.H. Charles lauded the published tome for imparting a more lucid comprehension of each section's content. In the initial segment, the Tome of Watchers chronicles the divine blessings bestowed upon Enoch, the celestial vision unveiled to him by the divine, and his illumination of the cosmic order, the celestial bodies, the solar luminary, the cyclic seasons, and the entirety of terrestrial expanse rendering it holistic. He further elucidates the peculiar entities inhabiting the earth, arising from the liaison between fallen celestial beings and mortal women, and the ensuing consequences of such unions. In the subsequent tome, Enoch delineates the three parables unveiled to him. The third tome predominantly delves into astrological insights and the celestial cosmos. The fourth tome entails concerning his dual prophetic visions foretelling imminent catastrophe and their temporal separation, the ultimate tome centered on his missive and the dissemination of his revelations among his brethren, subsequently exhorting them to repentance. Furthermore, a distinct segment of the tome is dedicated to his progeny Methuselah, instructing him on adhering to divine precepts throughout his lifespan. Within the chapters of Enoch's tome, he discerned angels yet adorned in celestial radiance alongside fallen celestial beings who instigated turmoil and widespread transgression on terrestrial realms. He denoted them as virtuous and malevolent sentinels. He asserted that the rebellious sentinels strayed from the divine path to follow their leader identified as Satan. The tome also records instances of incarcerated celestial beings genuflecting before Enoch and celestial messengers, conveying him across the celestial spheres. 
Within a chapter akin to Genesis, he chronicled the union of celestial beings with alluring mortal women begotten by males, taking them as spouses. The progeny of this populace yielded anomalies such as titans and robust offspring identified as Nephilim. The celestial beings further imparted arcane arts and malevolent rituals to mortals. A prominent entity among these celestial exiles is a term in Aramaic linked to infernal entities resembling diabolic goat-like creatures. This notion parallels the scapegoat rite in Judaic tradition, where a goat symbolically bears the transgressions of the Israelites and is released to plummet from a mountaintop during the Day of Atonement. This rite epitomized both divine absolution and the contrition of the Israelites. Loyal revelations and celestial prognostications. The offspring of humanity. This phrase is recurrently employed by Jesus Christ in the New Testament and is commonly construed as a title or Jesus Christ aligning himself with humankind. However, this is not the scenario in the Tome of Enoch. It was disclosed that Enoch had utilized the term affirming that a more profound significance can be discerned in Aramaic, Hebrew, and apocalyptic literature. The Aramaic term, offspring of humanity, pertains to all human beings, yet it is specifically attributed to a faction of individuals, notably those who identify themselves as such. In the Hebrew rendition, the offspring of humanity was adopted by the prophet Ezekiel as a self-reference when God communicated with him. He also signified that, unlike celestial beings and other entities, he was birthed by a woman and embodies the attributes typical of being human. The Hebrew connotation is also intertwined with Jesus Christ likening himself to being comprised of flesh and bones and enduring the tribulations of mortality. The apocalyptic interpretation, as per scholars, depicts Jesus Christ presenting himself as a celestial and sanctified entity who would consummate the ultimate act of redemption for God's people. As per Enoch's account, he was transported to the second heaven where he beheld darkness more profound than that on earth. Within this obscurity were incarcerated beings, identified as angels, restrained and awaiting divine judgment. They lamented in anguish. Upon his inquiry into their nature, they were revealed to be fallen angels who had revolted against God, siding with their prince, and consequently were shackled alongside other insurgents in the fifth heaven. Succinctly put, in Enoch's second tome narrative, the malevolent watchers were destined for inexhaustible suffering. Transitioning into the celestial spheres, Enoch charts a cosmic cartography, also termed the celestial cycle or heavenly orbit, mirroring the curvature observed in the solar system's trajectory. According to Enoch, the highest circle is designated as Cruno, the second as Aphrodite, and the third as Eris. The fifth circle is denoted as Zeus, the sixth as Hermes, and the seventh circle as the inferior circle where the moon resides. When deciphered in Greek, they correspond to Saturn, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Mercury. Correspondingly, in 2 Enoch, these planets are depicted as grand luminaries within a celestial circle. The cosmic expanse also encompasses a central space that delineates it into three dimensions. Termed as SOA, the dimensions comprise perceived space, characterized by tangible attributes such as geographical design, measurements, and configuration. The conceptual space constitutes the second dimension, defined by abstraction and heavily influenced by cognitive faculties. The final dimension holds sway over all three realms, intertwined with the annals of history, societal structures, and the essence of humanity. Enoch traversed through all three realms, detailing his encounters with vivid and precise insights into cosmology, affirming God as the unifying force that binds all beings, whether celestial or terrestrial, thereby unveiling age-old truths and redirecting our contemplation towards ancient wisdom concerning mortality and the afterlife. The Egyptian Book of the Dead acquaints us to the Book of Two Ways. The Book of Two Ways articulates the journey upon which a life form, a person's essence after their transition, can find tranquil passage while navigating towards the realm of the God of Death. The tome delineates the pathway through the underworld, which may traverse either land or water. It elucidates that, irrespective of the chosen route, the soul must overcome and emerge victorious against demons, flames, armed sentinels, and gatekeepers safeguarding the dominion of Oros, the deity presiding over the deceased. It is recorded that should a soul successfully traverse past the god of death, 
it shall attain immortality. Upon its discovery in 2012, the manuscript was estimated to be approximately 4,000 years old. Harco Williams unearthed it during archaeological excavations at one of the burial tombs of Monarch Ock, situated at a long-forgotten burial site atop a cliff near to Elbashar. It served as the primary necropolis for regional rulers and governors during the Egyptian Middle Kingdom, spanning from 2055 to 1650 BCE. Discovered upon the sarcophagus of a woman named Ank, while certain fragments were associated with Pharaoh Motep Thu in 2010 BCE, this revelation suggests that these fragments predate other findings from a distinct archaeological revelation. Egypt experienced another breakthrough with the excavation of a 43,000-year-old tomb in Cairo at Saqqara's Giza El Muda. This tomb introduces a fresh perspective to our comprehension of ancient Egyptian history and burial customs. Amidst the dig, numerous discoveries were made, including 12 pieces of sculpted statues unearthed 20 feet deep within the burial shaft. Additionally, it was reported that one of the statues contained a mummy that remained nearly intact, constituting one of the few complete specimens ever discovered. The most notable individual interred in the vicinity was Kum Jedf, the overseer of officials and supervisor of nobles, who also served as a priest in the Pyramid of Unas. The second largest sepulcher belonged to Mary, the guardian of secrets and aid to the monarch. Several unidentified individuals were also found, including two unidentified pairs. The burial ground is segmented into sectors, the Northern Middle Teddy Pyramid Sector, the Western Pyramid of Unas Sector, and the Southern Sector. In the interim, within the Saqqara Necropolis, situated near the renowned Pyramids of Giza, a team of archaeologists made a significant discovery. The funerary temple of Nate, an ancient Egyptian queen who was the wife and daughter of King Titi, the inaugural pharaoh of Egypt of the 6th dynasty. She was presumed to have passed away over 4,200 years ago and was interred adjacent to the pyramids erected by King Titi. This revelation marked the first instance of King Titi having more than two wives and unveiled an unidentified third queen. Initially, the identity of the individual at the temple remained obscure until various ancient texts were consulted, revealing an account of her existence in the annals of the old kingdom of ancient Egypt. Within the temple, the team further unearthed 22 burial shafts containing over 54 vibrant coffins, two dozen mummies, a shabdis figurines, pottery, figurines, and numerous wooden boats adorned with intricately carved sailors. The majority of these wooden edifices were estimated to have originated 3,000 years ago. In the long-lost burial site of Queen Knight, consort of King Teddy, a 13-foot-long scroll was discovered and is believed to be the Book of the Dead. Among the most noteworthy relics on the site is the uncovering of Chapter 17 of the Book of the Dead. The inscription was identified to have been inscribed in hieroglyphics, and it contained particulars about a soul navigating to paradise after death. On the tomb, the possessor of the scroll was inscribed as P.F. Archaeologists unearthed four figurines bearing the same appellation at the site, alongside wooden coffins encircling the tomb. Following extensive examination, it was ascertained that the coffins and figurines were consecrated to serving Queen Nate in the afterlife. Ancient Egypt is purportedly more acquainted with the notion of extraterrestrial existence than has been unveiled thus far. Numerous of the distinct architectural formations are speculated to have been erected with the assistance of advanced life entities. One of the most intricate sightings was chronicled by the scribes of Pharaoh Thutmose III circa 1440 BC in a manuscript known as the Thule Papyrus. In 1933, the overseer of the Egyptian Vatican Museum, Alberto Thule, stumbled upon the long-lost evidence. The inscriptions were transcribed into hieroglyphs, and upon translation, recounted an anecdote of fiery disks hovering over the skies of Lower Egypt. The disks were depicted as headless, their length and width corresponded to a standard measurement of a roadway, and while they emitted no sound from their mouths, they emitted a putrid stench. They were reported to have advanced toward the royal abode, yet their nature remained elusive until the scrolls were consulted. After several days, the fiery disks proliferated in number and by nightfall, ascended further into the heavens, moving towards the sun. This enigmatic narrative, preserved in hieroglyphs and unveiling the peculiar phenomenon of headless fiery disks, adds a cryptic chapter to the skies over Lower Egypt. The communication of Enoch, 
Conversely, the existence of Enoch imparts lucid perceptions into the encouraging resolutions and favors that anticipate those who commit their lives to God. Throughout his lifespan, he served as a conduit of God to the inhabitants of the earth, and was not confined to aspects associated with ordinary individuals such as affliction and death. He was also among the first to be granted entry to the abode of God, and permitted to converse with angels and receive visions about the future. Enoch never forfeited his soul and had to navigate his way to the afterlife as typical humans do. Instead, he served as a beacon of boundless knowledge, which he disseminated to the rest of the world. His book influenced the teachings of subsequent prophets and apostles of Christ, and its revelations in the present era have prompted believers to reconsider how they serve God. The Book of Enoch stands as a testament to the profound spiritual experiences of ancient figures, offering a unique perspective on the divine realm and humanity's place within it. Its rich imagery, vivid storytelling, and complex cosmology have captivated readers for centuries, sparking theological debates and inspiring contemplation on the mysteries of existence. Some scholars argue that the Book of Enoch provides valuable insights into early Jewish and Christian thought, shedding light on concepts such as angelology, eschatology, and the nature of divine revelation. Others view it as a fascinating relic of ancient literature, offering a glimpse into the beliefs and concerns of a bygone era. Despite its disputed status within religious canon, the Book of Enoch continues to exert a profound influence on spiritual seekers and scholars alike. Its themes of divine judgment, redemption, and the interplay between heaven and earth resonate across cultures and centuries, inviting readers to ponder the eternal mysteries of faith and existence. What are your reflections on the Book of Enoch? Does it challenge Christian doctrine or unveil hidden truths lost to time or deliberately concealed? Share your insights in the comments section. From a literary perspective, the Book of Enoch is undeniably a fascinating piece of ancient literature that provides a window into the beliefs and worldview of early Jewish and Christian communities. Its vivid imagery, symbolic language, and intricate narratives offer readers a glimpse into the spiritual and cosmological frameworks of the time. From a theological standpoint, the Book of Enoch raises thought-provoking questions about the nature of divine revelation, the role of angels in human affairs, and the interplay between heaven and earth. Its portrayal of Enoch as a righteous figure who walks closely with God invites contemplation on the possibilities of intimate communion with the divine. Moreover, the Book of Enoch prompts believers to reconsider traditional understandings of scripture and theology, challenging them to explore alternative perspectives on key theological concepts such as sin, judgment, and salvation. Overall, whether one views the Book of Enoch as a canonical scripture, a historical artifact, or a source of spiritual inspiration, its enduring significance lies in its ability to stimulate dialogue, foster reflection, and deepen our understanding of the rich tapestry of religious thought and experience throughout history. Indeed, the Book of Enoch serves as a bridge between ancient traditions and modern interpretations, offering a wealth of material for scholars, theologians, and seekers alike to explore. Its inclusion in the Ethiopian Orthodox canon and its discovery among the Dead Sea Scrolls highlight its enduring relevance and impact across diverse religious traditions. Furthermore, the themes of cosmic exploration, divine judgment, and the supernatural realm continue to captivate readers, inviting them to delve into the mysteries of existence and the nature of ultimate reality. The book's emphasis on the consequences of moral choices and the spiritual journey of the soul resonates with timeless human concerns and aspirations for meaning and purpose. While some may view the Book of Enoch as non-canonical or apocryphal, its influence on later religious literature and its role in shaping eschatological beliefs cannot be ignored. Whether approached as a historical artifact, a source of spiritual insight, or a lens through which to explore ancient wisdom, the Book of Enoch remains a treasure trove of knowledge and inspiration for those who seek to deepen their understanding of the divine and the human condition. Moreover, the Book of Enoch offers a unique perspective on the intersection of human experience and divine revelation. Enoch's journey from mortal to intermediary between God and humanity provides a fascinating narrative arc that challenges conventional notions of human potential and spiritual agency. From his encounters with celestial beings to his prophetic visions of cosmic events, Enoch's story invites reflection on the nature of faith, the limits of human understanding, 
in the mysteries of the universe. His role as a conduit for divine wisdom underscores the interconnectedness of the spiritual and material worlds, reminding us of the eternal quest for knowledge and enlightenment. Furthermore, the Book of Enoch serves as a catalyst for dialogue and exploration within religious communities and academic circles alike. Its rich symbolism, allegorical imagery, and complex theology invite diverse interpretations and interpretations, sparking debate and reflection on issues ranging from eschatology and cosmology to ethics and spirituality. Ultimately, the Book of Enoch invites us to embrace the wonder and complexity of the divine human relationship, challenging us to transcend our earthly limitations and seek deeper truths about ourselves and the world around us. Whether approached as a work of religious literature, a historical document, or a spiritual guide, Enoch's legacy continues to inspire and intrigue seekers of truth across cultures and generations. What are your reflections on the Book of Enoch? Does it challenge Christian doctrine or unveil hidden truths lost to time or deliberately concealed? Share your insights in the comments section. Let us pray, Divine Creator, as we delve into the depths of ancient wisdom and explore the revelations of Enoch, we humbly seek your guidance and illumination. Grant us the discernment to glean insights from his journey and the wisdom to apply them in our lives today. May the stories of Enoch's encounters with angels and visions of cosmic mysteries inspire us to deepen our connection with the divine and to walk in faith with unwavering devotion. Help us to embrace the boundless possibilities of spiritual growth and to journey towards enlightenment with open hearts and minds. Guide us, O Lord, as we navigate the complexities of our existence and lead us along the path of righteousness and truth. May the lessons of Enoch's life remind us of the eternal quest for knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, and may we strive to embody his dedication to serving you faithfully. Gracious and merciful God, we come before you with hearts filled with reverence and awe as we contemplate the mysteries revealed through the book of Enoch. In the pages of this ancient text, we find glimpses of your divine plan and the boundless love you have for all of creation. As we ponder the revelations of Enoch's encounters with angels and his visions of the cosmic realms, we are reminded of your infinite power and majesty. Grant us the humility to recognize our place in your grand design and the wisdom to discern your will for our lives. Guide us, O Lord, along the path of righteousness and truth, and help us to walk in the footsteps of Enoch, who remained steadfast in his faith despite the challenges he faced. May his example inspire us to deepen our relationship with you and to live lives of purpose and meaning. As we seek to uncover the hidden truths within the book of Enoch, may we be filled with a spirit of curiosity and wonder, knowing that every revelation brings us closer to you. Bless our journey of exploration and discovery and lead us ever closer to the light of your presence. We offer this prayer in gratitude for the wisdom imparted to us through the pages of Scripture and in faith that you will continue to reveal yourself to us in new and wondrous ways. Amen. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for notifications on new videos.